Is there such a thing as work-life balance? I had planned on making the 12 plus hour drive back home to New Mexico this week, but there was an early snowstorm, so it would have made uh, going through the mountains very uncomfortable. Would have maybe been possible, but I didn't really want to risk it. So instead, I opted to rent a holiday house on the Texas Gulf Coast with no set agenda other than to do a little bit of work. I have a few projects going on. I'm not tied to a deadline with another book right now so I have a little bit of uh, a slower paced week so come along with me on this adventure <laughs> and if you too struggle with a work-life balance a uh, little disclaimer here I do as well so this video doesn't have like tips and, and tricks for getting into balance it's more a relaxing video to just kind of unwind with so let's go I want to start the day with the early morning walk It turned off cooler here too, but I think it's only in the 40s, so nothing compared to, you know, the snowstorm. <laughs> but it is still pretty windy and very humid. But it was great to be outside and to explore these really old trees. It's really hard to tell the age of trees in Texas because it's um, a feast and famine with weather conditions in Texas. But there is a 1,500-year-old tree not far from here, so I would imagine these trees have seen quite a few storms and quite a few majestic sunrises. The wind's really picking up now. Can you hear it? Oh, the clouds are moving really fast. I think it's about to storm, so I'm going to head back inside and make something warm to drink. There was a wonderful selection of coffees and teas for the Keurig, as well as tea bags and a kettle. So this was very nice. It was a very nice touch in the holiday house. I changed into comfy clothes to relax even more while the coffee was brewing and decided that I'm going to read for a while and warm up. This is my first full day here and I always feel in the beginning rushed like I have to do everything, you know, instantly. <laughs> do you feel like that too when you travel? But I'm going to be here for seven days so I have plenty of time to pull out the files and start working. So I think I'm just going to take a little break and try and set a slower pace for the entire week. I brought three books with me that I'm currently reading while they're on the laptop and uh, I think I'm going to sit and read for a while and warm up and then it'll be time to make breakfast. I'm going to make chocolate banana nice cream for breakfast so that'll be good but I want to be warm before I eat it. The cold here is different than the cold in the mountains of New Mexico because the humidity is so high that it just seems to really soak into your bones. It's, it's not like it is in New Mexico where it's, you know, crisp but you know, you put on a jacket and you're fine in the snow. Here, no, it's a lot colder. So let's whip this up really quick. I chilled the bananas uh, probably for a couple of hours in the freezer so it has the consistency of soft serve ice cream. You can of course put it back in the freezer but I'm impatient I'm gonna have it now. <laughs> okay that was amazing super nice and healthy breakfast. Now I'm going to wrap up in this cozy blanket and actually get some work done. This is a heater I mean the house has central air and heat but this is a nice little touch. So I'm sitting in front of this heater working and uh, most of the afternoon is now gone and we're going quickly into evening. So I got up, did some yoga, stretched a bit, and really looked at the stuff on the coffee table. I love the texture of this with the light. So I'm going to take some quick pictures of this so I can sketch it later. And I probably should finish this project so I can get it out. And then I have client calls tonight, so we're probably going to call it for today. I'll see you in the morning.
So I've already had a productive day of work and you don't wanna hear about that. So let's make some pumpkin cookies. So while the whole idea of autumn warms my heart, I'm not really that much into pumpkin or pumpkin spice things. I usually have pumpkin about one time a year and then I'm good. <laughs> so these cookies satisfy that craving and uh, yeah, and, and they're healthy too. So let's make these cookies, it's super simple. There is only one cookie sheet here in this house, so I'm going to make two batches of cookies. The first will be without chocolate chips and the second will be with vegan chocolate chips. So I'm using half of the can of organic pumpkins. This is not pumpkin pie filling, this is just pumpkin. And a banana, I've already made my flour from oats and I'm gonna put in pumpkin spices and cashew milk and that's really about it. It's super simple. I don't sweeten it because the bananas are sweet and we don't eat much candy or chocolate or anything like that. So this will be more than sweet for us. Definitely if you're making this for the first time, do a small batch and adjust it. But the, know that too, the more that you move away from eating sugar, your taste buds will change and it will get much easier. You won't be craving sugar or having to add sweetener to things. Everyone's been asking me if I've watched 1899 and I haven't, so I think I'm going to eat some cookies and binge watch this show and then call it a night. See you tomorrow! Good morning, how are you? It's another day and another smoothie. I have a long 12-hour day ahead. I'm gonna eat outside and start the day. Okay, I'm glad the day is over. It's time for a simple supper. I'm going to put together a Buddha bowl and I do apologize, I didn't film the classic chopping of the vegetables for this, but you get the idea. I chopped up vegetables and created this really simple supper, but it was very satisfying, especially after a long day. I feel like I'm failing at that work-life balance, but there's still time. I have an early Zoom meeting this morning. I didn't stay up late reading, but gee, I felt like I only got like a few hours of sleep. So the meeting went very well. So now I'm gonna make some breakfast and go sit on the upstairs deck and enjoy the view. Or at least I thought I was. It's a little bit too windy and stormy. I think it's about to pour buckets of rain, which is fine. That's fine, I enjoy the rain. glad I took off and explored because here it is the next day and it's raining buckets all day long but that's okay it's nice and cozy here and it's not like I don't have plenty to do <laughs> It's so calming and relaxing to watch the rain. I find that especially true after living so long in the desert. Now it's just like it's such a healing experience to just sit back and do nothing, you know? Sip on a hot cup of tea and watch the rain. <laughs> I'm making spicy tofu and chopping up vegetables for Buddha bowls again. They're super filling and delicious and it works. I think we're going to play some Uno and call it an evening. So yeah, this was I think a relaxing day after all. So maybe I am getting the hang of this work-life balance. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? The sun is out. I think it's going to be an amazing day. The sunshine changes everything, doesn't it? Even simple things look different in the dark versus the light. I've already had quite a busy day. I've been outside meditating on the deck, cleaned up a bit, and just really enjoyed the sunshine more than I thought I would. Wow, this knife is dull. I am going to make some lemon water, grab my laptop, go back out on the deck, answer some emails, do just a little bit of work, and soak up as much sun as I can, and enjoy the rest of my time here. So I woke up the next day to a very foggy day, and it was foggy until, well, evening time. The fog rolled in off the bay or the gulf into the town and just coated everything and made everything really surreal and different. It was a wonderful experience. I liked how it changed everything up. You know, I'm all about light and darkness and shadow and texture and things like that. So it really added a, a different vibe to things. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. I hope you're having a great November, December, or whenever you're watching this. And I hope you're finding balance between your work and home life and that things are going well as we get back to quote unquote normal, whatever that is. <laughs> I'll see you soon with another video. Take care. Speak to you soon.